How are we doing this week guys? Welcome to RCA Exotics. Uh, this week we're doing a tarantula rehouse. I'm rehousing three of my tarantulas that have uh, outgrown their enclosures. We have um, Brachypelma bohemi here which needs a rehouse. It actually has enough uh, ground space but it hasn't enough depth to dig anymore. So we're going to rehouse that into a bigger enclosure. Um, we have my little Obi sling which has outgrown this little uh, enclosure. And we have Nandu chromatis which has also outgrown its enclosure. So. All three of these are getting upgrades. So we're going to start with the OBT now. So um, first off, I'm going to escape the little enclosure and show you how I set up my enclosure. Um, first off, it has, this is the enclosure I'm going to be rehousing the two smaller ones into. Um, it has a load of air holes perforated in the top and around the sides with cross ventilation and top ventilation, which is very important for all tarantulas. So we'll start with this one then. So we're going to start, we're just going to add our substrate in, and this is for the OBT, so the OBT is generally like a dry, so we're going to go with plain L dry substrate in here. And you want enough for the tarantula to be able to bury itself and dig tunnels and stuff. And that OBT does like to dig quite a bit, so make sure, basically I'm going to bring the substrate up right to the level of the air holes I put in the sides. And always remember to patch your substrate down as well because tarantulas generally don't like walking on loose substrate. So we have our substrate in here now. Just pat this down. And I'm going to throw this little purple plant in here for some anchor points. So stick one little bit here. Another bit here. So a few points, anchor points there. And, and lastly, we have a water bowl. So, um, contrary to popular belief, tarantulas cannot drown in water. Um, so, even a tiny sling will not drown in water. If you have the space to provide a water bowl, always provide a water bowl. So, that's the OBT's enclosure set up, and we're going to try and get it in here now. So, this should be the fun part. Okay, so now for the fun part, we're trying to, going to try and get this OBT to calmly go from here to here, but chances are this is not going to go calmly, which is why we're doing this inside the bigger tub. So if it bolts in any direction, come on. We want it to pop out. Come on. I feel it's just going to bolt all of a sudden out here. Okay, just one second. Where it's hiding right now. Okay, it's over here. Okay. Thought it was on the other side. Stop going around in circles. See, it's got tunnels built in here. I think I might actually have to use the tweezers to take the top layer of substrate off. Okay, right. The OBT is actually right there. So, if we can get it to go in this way this is not gonna end well come on go go on down backwards backwards uh, I actually no longer know where it is <laughs> I know it's somewhere in this pile of stuff oh it is on the outside that's not where we want it Okay, so I managed to catch her after her bolting around for a minute or two there. And unfortunately my catch cup that I'm using right here does not have any holes in it, so we're not completely out of the danger zone yet. But hopefully this will... Yep, yeah. okay, she's gone in now. And just a little shot of her in here. We can get an in-focus shot. 
so that's her in her new enclosure now we're gonna get the lid on before she decides to do another runner but that's one rehoused anyway and hopefully the most difficult of them so the OBT so, uh, this is the enclosure I set up there for the Nandu Chromatis uh, this one likes a bit more humid so that's why I added some moss in this one um, and damp the substrate a little bit more and it has its water bowl as the same as before so we're gonna try and get the chromatis in here now and hopefully it'll go a little smoother than it did with the OBT um, this one is not too crazy at the moment these guys can get fairly crazy when they're older but this one's not too too mental right now of course I say this now this one's not going to behave for me. Come on. Come on. Come on. This way, please. Come on. Can I do this way? Yeah. Come on. Come on. So we'll get a little close up to this one. Hopefully. If my camera will focus on it. Which unfortunately it does not want to do right now. Possibly try a different angle. Okay, well, we'll get the point. This one's in this enclosure. I'll try and get another shot of it afterwards. I don't know why my camera is not wanting to focus right this very second, but uh, that's two out of three now. Rio, so we're going to pop the lid on this, and that's this one done. Move on to the last one. Okay. So we have here, we have our Brack Belmont Bohemi, and she's quite calm. This is why I'm actually moving her with my hand. Um, I had to take her out of that old tub because I wanted to use some of her substrate and the bit of bark that I had in there and I figured we'd take the nice opportunity to get a nice shot of her as well because she's a beautiful girl well hopefully a girl I actually don't have a confirmed bolt out of her she's still a little too small to tell but starting to get her adult colorations now these are a beautiful species so this is her new enclosure over here and hopefully she'll come off my hand fairly easily she wants to go walking up my hand I think Oh, down we go. And we got a nice little shot of her in our new plant. So, that's the three of them rehoused. So, thanks for watching this week, guys. Um, that was rehouse of Nandu Chromatis, uh, OBT, the orange bitey thing, and the Black Belma Bohemian. So, all three of them got upgrades this week. So, Thank you very much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you again next week. I upload every Sunday, so don't forget to hit that notification button, and see you next week. Bye!